Soulmates, how do I find my soulmate? Where is my soulmate? I'm moving through life and I'm not finding my soulmate. Why is that? Well, that's probably because you're looking in the wrong places. <laughs> you know, we have seven, eight billion people on this planet. And so you're telling me that there's one person that is your soulmate, that it was created for you and that you need to be with and you're gonna happen to have a chance of, of actually running into them? Come on. The, it, the whole idea of soulmates is very real, but the perception and the angle of seeing that and viewing that that most people have is very unreal. Now, your soulmate is just that, your soul. That love that you desire to receive from someone else, that unconditional love, unwavering love, you will never be able to receive from another human person because they're, we're human. And so it's, it, all of those kind of interactions and relationships and love and things are very conditional. You know, take the person you're in a relationship now or the person that you love the most, the person that loves you the most, walk up to them and for no reason, just punch them in the face and see if they love you in that next moment. <laughs> it's very conditional. There are conditions to it. Now there might be a lot wider in the conditions uh, that they allow because they love you, but it is conditional. So that unconditional love can only come from your own soul. Your soul is what is there to provide you with that love, unconditional, unwavering to you. And that's where you have to receive it from. You know, so that's why when people get into relationships, they sometimes still feel very lonely because they haven't connected with themselves. Or when they get out of a relationship, they really feel lonely. Like, man, there's no one there. There's this void that cannot be filled that another person isn't filling because it needs to be that void is the, is the, gap between you and your soul that needs to be rekindled and rebonded. And that love that you truly desire to give to others, it can be hard sometimes because like I said, it's conditional. And so the conditions may be created where it's hard to continue to love you now. And so, it, you know, but I still desire to give this love that I have, but I can no longer give it to you. So where do I give it? That is because only your soul, yourself, you, are the only one that is truly deserving of receiving the love that you desire to give. And now the very interesting thing about this is when you do cultivate this relationship with yourself and you start building this relationship with yourself and that bond becomes stronger and tighter with between you and your soulmate, your own soul, then it becomes easier to have great beneficial relationships with other people. Then you notice that your relationship with your you know, girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, wife, or whatever is a lot the, the quality to it is a lot more has a lot more value because it's easier to love this person when they make a mistake it's easier to continue loving them because you aren't taking it personal you already have this strong foundation within yourself you're centered within yourself and so it's easier if they are there and stay with you forever it's it's fine if they at some point the paths need to diverge that is fine because I still have this relationship with myself. My own core primary relationship is still intact. And so yes, they will be missed, but that is okay. That is maybe is what is needed for both of us, but I'm not going to feel at a, you know, a deprivating loss because they are gone. And I don't feel like I need them to complete me in staying here and being by my side. And so then, because when you do that, it creates a burden on the other person. I need you here to be whole and complete. And so it places a burden on the other person, which then will only drive a wedge between you. And so when you have that centeredness within yourself, then you don't have that burden with them. Then they feel, whether they know it or not, they feel free to come and go as they please. And that is very attractive. And so then you're attracting them closer to you. So be sure to cultivate the relationship with your soulmate. They do need to be found, but it is not by going outside of yourself into this world that your soulmate will be found by going within yourself.